What the fuck? I'm whopping you two! Rival game in here! <laughs> I have been getting a lot of questions. Is that me in the intro? And believe it or not, yes, it's me. I made that intro like six years ago. I just use it just because a lot of people recognize my channel by the guy who smashed on the door for an intro. You know, people can recognize me more with it. I will be remaking that intro sometime when I move out of this apartment. Right now, I'm just keeping it afloat because I know some of you guys enjoy seeing it in the very beginning. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be trying something pretty cool. Someone recently commented on one of my past videos saying, Rifle, do you know the glitch to get into the Shield Brothers room without doing the strike? He goes by Higgs0516, and as you can see, he has an alien profile picture. Shout out to you, dude, for uh, leaving this question because... I actually never known about this glitch whatsoever, so I figured this would be something kind of interesting and new to some of you guys as well. And while I was researching this glitch to see who found it, it seems that the founder was by Cloud, so shout out to Cloud. He has found a lot of glitches in Destiny, but I'm going to be doing something kind of cool while I show off this glitch to you guys. What I'm going to be doing is when I go to check out the Shield Brothers room and show you what it looks like, I'm also going to be seeing how they spawn in and where they go when they flee. I think that would be kind of cool to incorporate with this glitch. Some of you guys might just want to know what the Shield Brothers room even looks like. I know I did. I had no idea you could see inside there like that. It's pretty cool. And by the way guys, my PlayStation 4 Pro giveaway is ending in four days now. So yeah, stay tuned for that everyone. If you haven't entered into it, simply leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't and click that bell after you subscribe and sometime go down below in the description and follow my Facebook. Anyways, as you can see here, I'm at this section of the raid, which is a section that you'll run into when playing the raid casually. But once you get here and clear out the room of enemies here, you just want to come over here and we're going to be making our way to the top of the roof here. Now from here you can just jump right out of the map. So you just cling to the side of the wall right there and then hop right out. Now from here we're going to be heading toward the Shield Brothers area just by jumping up onto the other side. Oh no! Whew. Thought that jump was about to hurt me there. And the goal out of being up here, first off, we're going to have to hit a checkpoint to load in the Shield Brothers room, which the checkpoint is at the end of this right over here to the right. Just want to jump down here, and once you're down here, this should load in the area. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Typically, when you jump down here, you'll load in the area. I guess because my teammates are already down here, the area is loaded in or something. I don't know what's going on. Either way, you just jump down here, and then when you get down here, you just want to jump back up. And this is where it's going to require the Titan, sadly. So if you don't have a Titan, you're not going to be able to come over here and see the Shield Brothers room for yourself. The reason why you need a Titan is for the death from above. What that does is pushes you through an invisible barrier. So you can get to the other side, and then we'll jump out to some cliffs in there from... Well, wait, what am I saying? Let's just do it already. As you can see, just went a death from above over here. This just pushed us through an invisible barrier. Obviously, we didn't see that barrier because it's invisible. But uh, yeah, from here, you just want to jump up toward this mountainside. And believe it or not, Shield Brothers' room is literally right over here. We're at the Shield Brothers' area where we fight them at. But where they come out of is right over here. So let's get to this experiment. Let's see what happens when they spawn in and also when they flee. Where do they come from? Where do they go? Oh, we're about to find out about the Shield Brothers. Yo. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, and also, in case you're wondering, what did the Shield Brothers room even look like? This is what it looks like. In my mind, this place was a lot bigger. I have to say, the developers did a great job in getting me to think that there is going to be some kind of, like, giant other room on the other side instead of this little whatever this is. Okay. Anytime. Uh-oh. I oh! The brothers know we're here. Look! He saw me! He just dropped though. He came out of nowhere. So I'm gonna let them go ahead and take on Mario while I wait for Luigi and see how he spawns. Uh oh. Mario's fleeing back in. Let's see what happens. What does he go do? What the? What the? 
Well, uh, that was a fail. I'm guessing he just disappears. We'll catch Luigi for sure and see what happens when he flees. They're lighting him up. Oh, he's fleeing. Let's see this time. I'm gonna find out where you go. Oh. Oh, okay. You got some kind of device where you can just teleport. They're both about to spawn here shortly. Oh, there's Mario. Oh, there's Luigi. Oh, gosh. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. But yeah, I guess that's how I'm wrapping up this video, everyone. This was just something to really see what happens. Some of you might have been curious of, you know, what they run into exactly. This is it. This is where they run into and they just disappear. But yeah, that's how I'm wrapping up this video, everybody. Hope you found it enjoyable somewhat. I know it's kind of hard to find some solid Destiny content to upload at the moment, but I'm still bringing you guys Destiny content. I'm out of here, though. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. Until next time. Peace.